guys and welcome back to my channel as you can tell from the title I will be achieving this look by using this palette this as you can see this this palette right here I okay Jackie Jackie you did your thing Anastasia yeah, Jack, y'all yeah, did y'all thing. But, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then let's get right into the video. And I'm not naked, guys. I have on this little pink dress from Forever 21. I'm about to go out. See how I did the pink, pink coordination? Thanks to Jackie. So we're going to go in with the shade Pinker and I'm going to use that as my transition shade which is going to be applied on my outer lid just like that. I start off by using the stiff end of the brush to apply the shade onto my lid and as you can see I end up using the buffer side so that I can blend it out. shade big wig and I'm using the applicator side the stiff side to apply that to my crease and onto my lid to the next eye I'm just going to apply those same two shades and again this is pinker as my transition shade which I am applying with the blending brush now I'm going in with big wig and applying that to my crease and onto my lid my crease I'm just going to apply that on my lid not over the purple but over where there's no makeup sitting now I'm using my concealer brush to even out the concealer and shape up my crease.
next eye and do the same thing apply my concealer onto my crease but not onto the purple shade that we applied earlier and if you gotta keep applying concealer as you go then that is a-okay because that's exactly what I had to do Okay, so now we're going in with our last and final shade, Supreme, and I'm applying that right over where I applied my concealer. Also, keep in mind that I did not set my concealer. Y'all, look how pretty that pink is. Oh my gosh. And there's no fallout. If there is fallout, there's very minimal fallout. But look how pigmented that is. Jeez. And again, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So I'm using that shade Supreme and applying it over my concealer onto my crease. And look, I messed that up already, but it's an easy fix. So to fix that up, I just went back into the palette and used the shade Big Wig. Let's get to the fun part. So I'm using my white liquid liner from NYX to outline my crease. So that's where the pink and purple meet. The devil was clearly working because there was something that was on the tip that ended up getting on my lid but I didn't want to wipe that off because I didn't want to wipe off my makeup so now I was sitting there for like five minutes trying to figure it out and straighten it out so it don't look crazy. So now that both eyes have the white liner on it I now go in with my black liner to create a winged tip. I applied my lashes off camera and now I'm going in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer that's all in my hair and applying that all over my face. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Foundation in the shade 340. I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer to highlight my face. I use the shade Fawn, so I'm going to apply that in the usual places that everyone uses to highlight their face. back and blended and now I'm going to contour my face with my black radiance stick foundation
definitely time for a new container but I'm setting my face with my Ben Nye banana powder and I'm dabbing it in. bronzer kit and I'm using that to set my contour. So now I'm going back into the palette and using the shade Supreme and I'm applying that to my lower lash line. feeling myself clearly and now it's time to set and spray honey yes lastly I'm going into my Marvicon palette and using this rose gold highlighter to highlight my face honey do you see that oh getting excited all over again Now going in for my ultimate most favorite lip combo, I'm lining my lips with a dark brown lip liner. You can use any brown liner of your choice. And now I'm going in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Strudel. Julesy. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and give it a thumbs up like and subscribe and see you next time